Welcome, everyone, to the April edition of the SMM Public Library monthly podcast. This is our monthly podcast where I'll be highlighting the events taking place this April at the library. My name is Jason Redshaw, and I'm the branch manager for the SMM Public Library. Before jumping into April, I want to briefly talk about the mini golf event that took place at the library at the end of March. The event went better than any of us anticipated. Well over 200 participants gave our mini golf course a go. There were lineups throughout the entire weekend, and everyone had a great time. The library staff and board members tried very hard to make the course both fun and challenging. Despite this, there were four hole-in-ones to be had over the three days. I would personally like to thank everyone who made this event possible. I also want to give a big shout out to the Southeast Regional Library System, who supplied the mini golf course kit and most of the equipment. Without their continued support, events like this would not be possible. It has been more than a few years since this event has taken place at the Estevan Public Library. It was a lot of fun, and this is something that we'll be doing again in the future. We are well into the spring now, and the winter months have flown by very, very quickly. March also marked the end of our snowshoe season. This past winter, our patrons made constant use of our snowshoes, making the most out of our harsh winters. I would like to thank everyone in the, over the past few months who borrowed our snowshoes. Come November, the snowshoes will be back available again. But again, thank you for everybody that, ha that participated this winter. I also wanted to mention that in the past few months, the library has seen a huge upshot in the use of our makerspace. It has now almost been a year since we made our makerspace available, and this past winter, it has really started to take off. Our button maker has been in constant use all through February and March. Our 3D printer has also been very popular. A number of you have also been making use of our CryCup machine and our coding Ozobots. Later in April, we'll be expanding our makerspace to include a sewing machine. It has been great to see patrons take full advantage of our makerspace. It is available all year long, so come check out our makerspace and get creative. Now it's time to move on to programming that will be taking place this April. I'll only be highlighting a few programs that will be taking place. A full listing of our programs are available on our website, which will be posted at the end of this podcast. Here are some of the adult programmings taking place this month. Our popular bingo at the library will be taking place April 9th at 2 p.m. Bring some friends and let's play some bingo. For cooking at the library this month, we'll be making chicken salad sandwiches. This will be happening April 13th at 5 p.m. The book club title for the month is When the Moon is Low by Nadia Hashimi. Copies of the book are available at the library and online through Libby. The book discussion will be taking place April 20th at 6 p.m. Our annual plant swap party will be happening April 21st at 6 p.m. For this event, bring baby plants, clippings, or fully grown plants to swap with other plant lovers and add to your indoor garden. This is a great way to ring in Earth Day, which will be taking place the following day on April 22nd. Another great program happening this month is Cry Cut Cards Creation, which will be taking place Saturday, April 23rd at 2 p.m. Learn how to make some beautiful card creations for any occasion with the Cry Cut machine. The big event for the month is Open Mic Night at the library, and this will be happening Thursday, April 28th at 6 p.m. Share your talent with the community. For Poultry Month, join members of the library to perform music, poems, or short stories, whether it's your own or from your favorite writer. Now on to the children's programs for the month of April. Our first Kids Take and Make Kit will be available April 5th. This will be Mosaic Eggs, which is a great way of getting the little ones ready for Easter. The second Kids Take and Make Kit will be available April 19th, which will be Butterfly Crafts, this is a perfect way to celebrate the coming of spring. Tween Bookspine Poetry will be happening April 4th at 4.30 p.m. Make your own poems only using book titles. Tween Diamond Painting will be happening April 11th at 4 p.m. This is a great art program that allows tweens to get very creative. Toddler Time will be taking place every Tuesday this month at 10 a.m. and then again at 2 p.m. Story time will be happening every Wednesday this month at 10.30 a.m. and at 2 p.m. For STEM Think Tank, we'll be doing some fun and messy science on April 22nd at 4 p.m. Register ahead. This program fills up very quickly. 
We also have a lot happening for teens this month. The Teen Poultry Challenge will be running April 1st through April 22nd to celebrate Poultry Month. Submit works of poultry based off pictures you choose from photos we provide. All entries will receive a small gift basket from the library. Team Paint Night will be happening April 14th at 5.30 p.m. Take a break and paint a picture. The sky is the limit. All you need to bring is your imagination. Teen Chef will be taking place Sunday, April 10th at 2 p.m. To celebrate Easter, we'll be making a bit of a mess with some eggs, so you definitely don't want to miss that. The big teen program for the month will be Teen Boundaries with Envision. This will be taking place Thursday, April 21st at 6 p.m. Join us at the library when Jade from Envision will do a special presentation on self-care and boundaries for teens. This is just some of the programs happening this month. For a full listing, please check out our website, which we posted at the end of this podcast. The final big event for the month of April is our annual spring book sale. The event will be taking place Thursday, April 28th through Sunday, May 1st. The prices are as follows. Hardcover books, $1 each. Softcover books and paperbacks, $0.50 cents each. Magazines, $0.25 cents each. And audiobooks, CDs, and DVDs, $1 each. On the final day, it is $5 a bag. Fill up a Southeast Regional Library tote bag for $5 and walk away with as many items as possible. This is a great deal. The library will be accepting donations the week before and the week of the book sale. So if you have any donations, just hold on to them till the end of the month, and then we will gladly take them. This concludes our monthly podcast. We are now almost a quarter of the way through 2022, and already a lot has taken place, like the selling art auction, mini golf at the library, and soon the spring book sale. We have even more planned for you this year. In our next podcast, we will have several big announcements for the summer months and beyond. Thank you for listening, and see you next month.